back to Permesa channel. In this video, we will demonstrate and explain information browsing on the LCD interface of the Pearl LIO 48116S and the Pearl LIO 48216S lithium ion phosphate battery. At the end of the video, I will summarize the hierarchical structure of the browsing interface to help you better understand the interface switching logic. After starting the battery, the initial screen will be displayed. As for the buttons, the menu button is used to enter the browsing menu. The inner button is used to go to the next level. The down button is used to switch to the next option. And the ESC button is used to return to the previous level. First, press the menu button to enter the first level menu, then press enter to assess the next level of information. Pack B indicates current voltage of battery pack, and IN indicates the current charging or discharging current, where positive values represent charging current and negative values represent discharging current. Switch to temperature option and press enter to view the current temperature of the cells with every four cells being measured as a group. PCB temperature refers to the protection board temperature, and EMV temperature refers to the ambient temperature. Returning to the previous level, the cell voltage option will display the current voltage of each of 16 cells, and the cell capacity option will display the battery pack status of charge, the maximum capacity when fully charged, the current remaining capacity and the number of charging cycles. Returning to the first level menu, switch to BMS data and press enter. The idle data indicates that battery is currently idle, meaning it's neither charging nor discharging. If CHG is displayed, it indicates that the battery is charging. If DCH is displayed, it indicates that the battery is discharging. Switch to the records option and press enter to view the battery's historical protection records, including short circuit protection, over or under temperature protection, over current protection, under voltage protection, and over voltage protection. The number following each protection item represents number of times the protection has been activated. Returning to the previous level, BMS status display the current BMS status of the battery, showing 10 status information items such as over temperature, over temperature protection, over voltage, over voltage protection, under voltage, under voltage protection, over current, over current protection, short circuit protection, and failure. Returning to the first level menu, switch to the communication settings and press enter. This option is used to set the communication protocol between the battery and inverter. The options include the current protocol, CAM protocol settings, and 45 protocol settings. Entering the current protocol allows you to view the current BMS protocol. When communication between the inverter and battery is BMS, you can select the corresponding protocol to establish communication. You can also modify the CAM protocol or 45 protocol to match the inverter. The battery building protocol are extensive, converting almost all mainstream communication protocols on the market. Returning to the first level menu, switch to system settings and press enter. Here you can build broad rates used for data communication between the battery and the connected device, as well as the battery version number. This concludes the LCD screen information browsing guide for the Pearl LIO 48116S and the Pearl LIO 48216S lithium ion phosphate batteries. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, please leave a comment to let us know. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.